I've been using eBay since the early 2000s. In fact, my current eBay account is from 2006, and the only reason I had to create that one is because my mom was so sick of seeing me buy and sell Game Boy games on her account, I had to create my own. And since then, I've been using eBay regularly to buy and sell a ton of different stuff, from computer parts, to game consoles, to camera equipment, all sorts of stuff. But the one thing I've barely ever bought or sold over the last 20 years on eBay are sneakers. And I'm sure a lot of you out there who are sneakerheads totally understand where I'm coming from, because eBay was one of those places that you could never really guarantee whether the shoes that you were buying were actually legit. It was the same thing with Facebook Marketplace and the same thing with meetups. You could just never guarantee that they were legit unless you were a sneaker legit checker yourself. And so when websites like Goat and StockX came out where you could buy sneakers that you knew were actually legitimate, it changed the game. So for years, when it comes to buying sneakers, the choice was either paying a lot of money at like a consignment store, a little bit less money on StockX, or go to eBay where you could get a shoe for a lot cheaper, but you never really knew if it was legit. But last month, eBay actually announced their own authentication service, which, let's be honest, kind of changes the game. Now, I feel like I need to make this abundantly clear. This video is not sponsored. I've never worked with eBay in the past. I'm doing this purely on my own because I want to see if their service actually works. What's up, everybody? I'm Seth Fowler, and today I'm trying to find the best sneakers you can find on eBay for 200 bucks. So the way that this video is going to work is that I'm filming the first part right now on November the 21st, and I'm actually gonna go on eBay and see what sneakers I can buy for 200 bucks. Then I'm actually gonna buy one or two pairs of sneakers and wait for them to come in, and later on in the video, I'm going to unbox them and find out if they're legit and find out if it was a good deal. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm really excited for this video. I've been thinking about this since eBay's authentication service came out, but now I finally have the time to actually sit down and do it. So let's just jump right into it. So I've got my laptop over here, and I'm actually going to screen share with you guys, show you guys what I'm looking at so you guys can see what sneakers are available with me. Now, I do want to mention that there are actually some current restrictions as to what sneakers actually get legit checked on eBay, and that's because, I guess, they're starting off the service and they want to start small and then eventually expand to more and more sneakers. So as of right now, the end of November 2020, apparently eBay is only legit checking Yeezy and Jordan sneakers over $200 or maybe $200 even, I'm not 100% sure, in brand new condition and in men's and women's sizing. No kids sizing, no boys sizing yet, just men's and women's. Apparently the way that you know a sneaker can be authenticated is that it's got an authenticity guarantee badge on the page, which I'll show you guys right here. Apparently sneakers that are not eligible for this service are modified sneakers like customs, signed sneakers, items purchased using an offline payment method, which makes sense, listings that offer local pickup, again makes sense, items shipped to PO boxes, interesting, and uh, sneakers listed in categories not named above. But I guess without further ado, let's just jump right into this and find some sneakers to buy, which is the best part. So when you first get to the eBay sneaker landing page, they show you a couple different things. It says sneakers at the top, iconic rare dead stock or new release shoes from collabs to grails, J's to Yeezys, it says Jordans through the years. And of course, no fakes, no fraud, no doubt. Uh, the sneakers you ordered are verified by professionals. I think it's actually by SneakerCon, which is really cool to see. Shout out to SneakerCon for that. So there's a lot of different sneakers you can go for. Unfortunately, as of right now, it really is only Jordans and Yeezys. So we're gonna click on this, and then I kinda want to pick shoes that are only really in my size. I realize that might narrow it down a little bit, but I'm really trying to actually buy something that I can test out for myself. So I'm gonna change it to buy it now, so it doesn't take like a year and a half for these shoes to come in. I guess, can I not pick my own size? Where's the size? You can do it on other pages. I don't understand why on this page they don't show you the sizes. It looks like a lot of the shoes that they have for sale are what the Air Jordan 5s, which makes a lot of sense because those shoes just came out. They've got some mids. All of these shoes are $200 or more. Actually, it looks like some of the smaller sizes aren't, but I'm gonna make it so it's just $200 so that um, we only see shoes that are guaranteed to be authentic. I feel like that's important. And I kind of want to, you know what, I kind of just want to see $200 shoes. Let's just do $200 to $200. That might limit things a little bit, but that's the whole point of the video, to see what you can buy for $200. bucks. 1st off, that doesn't make sense. Yeezy Adidas Men's Black Pink European Size 42. That's a size 9, that's my size. This is the black and, black and red, black and pink Yeezy 350 V2s. This is a shoe that goes for like almost $1,000, if not more. Um, on websites like StockX. It says it's brand new, unworn, unused. Interesting. And it says it has the authenticity guarantee. Huh, I'm really skeptical. Let's, okay, I'm gonna add it to the cart. Because if that's actually, if that's real, that's a steal. <laughs> There's also only one picture of it. And I can't really tell from this picture if it's legit or not. It doesn't, like, it looks like there's a lot more pink in the shoe than there usually is. But I mean, there's only one picture, so I don't know for sure. The seller has 100% positive feedback with 197 reviews. That's a good sign, I guess, but that's kind of nuts. All right, well, that's in the cart. That was 
Surprising, to say the least. Uh, let's see what else we got. Um, we've got some Jordan 10 white black court greens, makes sense. Top three Jordan 5s. Mm. Uh, Air Jordan 3, 5 Lab 3s, they're like 3M Jordans. Eh. I don't need that in my life. Oh, you've got the uh, the Lakers 9s, nice shoe. The Fire Red 5s, again, nice shoe. Um, hair 6s, you've got the Flint 13s, again, pretty good price, 200 bucks, not bad. Another pair of Yeezys. Which colorway? That doesn't seem right. <laughs> this is a size 11. I see, it's got a starting bid of 200 bucks, price is $400, interesting. Zero feedback though for this seller, I don't know if I trust that. They look legit, I mean, maybe they're just using pictures of real shoes. Uh, Yeezy 350 V2 condition is new with box shipped USPS priority mail. I wouldn't trust that one I also wouldn't trust the last one that we looked at but that one it's my size. It's 200 bucks I got to do it for the video I also want to do it because I kind of want that pair of shoes got some Yeezy 500s. These look like the salts probably Or no, these are the stones because they don't have the mesh on the side one view per hour 200 bucks what size? Again, no feedback. Interesting. Size 13. Wouldn't fit. Okay. Jordan 4 Off-Whites. Oh, I see. Okay, so these aren't buy it now. These ones are bidding again. But it says buy it now price is 500 bucks. I don't think they go for that little. Men's size 9.5? Hmm. I'm picking all the ones that seem like kind of too good to be true. But I do want to buy some sneakers for myself to keep that are real. So uh, we're just going to keep going. I do actually like this pair of uh, Smoke Gray ones. What size are these? Please be a size nine. Size nine and size 11. How do I pick size nine? 200 bucks is not too off for those, I guess. Uh, what else do we have? We have more grape fives. Love the grape fives. I might actually have to end up picking those up because I think those are sick. Uh, Yeezy slides. I'm not into Jordan mids, but I think this bread colorway is really nice. <laughs> this is a solid looking pair of sneakers. 200 bucks makes sense. I think these are going for around that on StockX and GOAT and places like that. 100% um, positive feedback, 17 reviews. That makes sense, size nine. I'm adding a lot of sneakers to cart. This is uh, risky, <laughs> because I'm not gonna buy all of these. Jordan 3 True Blues from 2016. A very painful shoe, by the way. That shoe like phew, hurts the crap out of my feet when I wear them. I had to get rid of them. I just couldn't handle it anymore. There again are our Yeezys. Interesting. I don't have high hopes for them, but if we get them, it's the steal of the century. If they're legit and they come in legit, steal of the century. 100%, maybe not steal of the century, but they're up there. Jordan 14 Hyper Royals, size nine and a half. I'd be down for a size nine. Now this one is not authenticity guaranteed because it's cheaper than 200 bucks. A little frustrating there, but we got the Mellow Class 2002s, good pair of sneakers. More Hyper Royals, size 11 and a half. Black Cement 3s from 2008, interesting. Mids have been coming out with some good colorways. The material quality isn't as good as the highs, but uh, the mids, they look good. So I didn't pick sizes. So it's not narrowing it down too, too much. Now the selection, I'm gonna be honest with you right now, isn't amazing, but it makes sense because this is a newer service and we're only going for $200 sneakers, which is a pretty thin window or small window of shoes. So uh, I'm not surprised that it's um, not showing us a lot of results. I don't wanna look at anything more expensive than that. Maybe I'll expand it to 250. I don't wanna look at anything too much more expensive than that because that kind of defeats the purpose of the video. <laughs> also, I don't wanna spend that much more money. Uh, let's see what else we got. It's the 2006 Mellow M3 Silver University Blue. Interesting, apparently that's a popular pair of shoes. I don't know anything about that pair. I'm sure there's gonna be people in the comments telling me how stupid I am for passing those up, but we're seeing a lot of the same stuff. I'm gonna make it 250. I wanna see what we can get for 250. Okay, so now we've upped our budget to 250. We're looking at all the shoes between $200 and $250. I know we could go lower than 200 bucks, but eBay wouldn't guarantee that the shoes are authentic under 200 bucks because they don't check shoes under 200 bucks. So we're keeping it there, going up 50 more dollars. There do seem to be more options. You've got what seems to be the Air Jordan 1 Midnight Navies, which just came out, which I'm actually interested in. We'll look at those in a bit. A bunch of the Hyper Royal 14s, makes sense. Again, a dope shoe though. Like that's a shoe I definitely consider grabbing. Flint 13s, I hate these 11s. These 11s just look like foo-foo shoes. It's ridiculous. <laughs> pair of Yeezy 700 V3 Safflowers. Yeezy 700 V3 Safflower, eight and a half US, 42 confirmed order, will ship ASAP. Interesting, 100% positive feedback though. You've got Jordan 1 Biohacks for 240, size eight and a half. Not a bad size or price. 2020 Fire Red 4s for 220, unfortunately not my size. I'd love a size nine in those, but there's still an official release coming, so. This is just labeled shoes. <laughs> so this is a Yeezy 700 Wave Runner. The seller has no feedback, so that's a huge red flag. The pictures suck, um, and they label the listing shoes. Serious inquiries only, message me for questions at phone number removed by eBay shoes. Shipped with USPS priority mail. 
Huh, well, we're not buying those. <laughs> Travis Scott ones, but these are, wait, 230 are best offer. These aren't new though, which is the concern because they don't, they don't authenticate not new sneakers. Damage box, extra laces, zero feedback. Mmm, I can't trust people with zero feedback. I'm sorry. If you have zero feedback, buy something on eBay before you try and sell a crazy shoe at a ridiculous price. More core black Yeezys. These ones though, these don't look legit. I don't know, no they don't. Oh, they're worn. That's why they're so cheap. Even then, I sold my core blacks on a uh, goat for like 500 bucks and they were pretty heavily worn. So I don't know what's going on with that. It's honestly a lot of the same for this price range, which is kind of disappointing, but you see these trends on StockX and GOAT because the shoes that come out more recently are more popular. To be honest with you, I was kind of hoping we'd find like more crazy stuff, but I think with the requirements that the authenticity service has, um, they're really cutting out a lot of the, the BS, to be honest with you, which is good. And I also think with this price range, we're not gonna find a huge amount of stuff. But um, I mean, there's good pairs here. I just gotta, I guess I gotta look a little bit harder. <laughs> I'd be interested in trying these. 250. Should we add them to cart? Damn, I just want to buy all these sneakers. Okay, so I'm gonna compare the Safflowers on StockX because I want to see what the prices are like for these. So a size nine on eBay, this one's going for 250. Size nine on StockX going for 250. So it's the exact same price. We're gonna add it to cart though. Just, mm, I wonder if they have a size nine and a half. Oh, size nine and a half is 300 bucks. We're gonna add it to cart. I honestly am a really big Jordan 1 fan, so I want to grab a pair of Jordan 1s. I think I'm really leaning towards the Midnight Navies over those mids that we looked at earlier. Size, that's two, That's a little bit more expensive than I'd like. There's there's a bunch of size nines for 250. 244 on StockX. So if I can find one for less than 244, we're in business. And I think I can. Okay, let's click on this one because this one has free shipping, I like that. 105 reviews, 100% feedback. Decent looking shoe, brand new. Brand new in hand, ready to ship. Authentic from City Gear, ship same day. 100% feedback, shop with confidence. Okay, you won my money. There you go. So for $712, we've got the Air Jordan 1 Midnight Navies, we've got the Yeezy 700 V3 Safflowers, and we've got the Yeezy Adidas Men Black Pink European. You know what, we're just gonna go with it. We're gonna grab these three. Hopefully, they're all legit. I'm not sure about one of them. I think you guys know which one I'm not 100% sure about. But uh, yeah, so let's check out. Let's spend way too much money on sneakers I don't need and find out if they're legit. And I guess I'll see you guys in a couple days, or in your case, a couple seconds. Okay, so it's been about 11 days since I first ordered these packages from eBay, and I've gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with the amount of time it actually took for these to come in because it was over Thanksgiving, it was over a holiday weekend, and they still somehow showed up in just over a week. So I've got all three packages here, almost all three packages, I'll explain to you guys in a minute what I mean by that, but I think it's really cool that each package comes with eBay tape on it, which means that each one of these has actually been authenticated and repackaged at eBay or wherever they do their authentication and repackaging. So today is December 4th, I ordered these on November the 23rd and I think two of these actually came in on I think it was November 30th it was Cyber Monday which is kind of crazy fast and again these were authenticated over Thanksgiving which is kind of nuts especially around Christmas time when I'm sure they're getting a lot of orders so that was really cool to see but before I actually get into any of these unboxings I did have one small issue and that was of course from the pair of Yeezys I mean who didn't see that coming it was definitely sus from the get-go and uh, it ended up still being a pretty sus situation so about a day after I ordered those sneakers on eBay I actually got an email from those people through I guess eBay Messenger and it said that they had actually already sold the sneakers but eBay hadn't taken down their listing which doesn't make sense because if you sell sneakers or something through eBay as soon as it's sold unless you listed multiple quantities which I don't think that they did your listing automatically comes down so that was the first red flag but it ended up working out because I just automatically got a refund they canceled their order they said if I wanted to buy any other sneakers they could see what they had which uh, was very sus and I would absolutely not do that and not recommend any of you guys do that if you're gonna buy something through eBay make sure it's going through eBay so that you still get all the buyer protection. So I guess at the end of the day, I dodged a bullet, albeit it was a bullet that I kind of tried to jump in front of to see what that bullet felt like. That was a really weird analogy. I shouldn't have gone there. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I'm not mad that I didn't get them, but I would have been kind of interested to see if they made it through eBay's authentication, which I don't think they would have because I'm pretty sure that they were fake, and uh, sort of how that would have played out, but it is what it is. So instead, what I did is actually bought another pair of sneakers like a day or two later, which actually is one of the sneakers that came in on like November 30th. So that was an even faster turnaround time. And so I still have three pairs of sneakers to show you guys, except the one that I bought after the fact was just a pair of sneakers that I wanted. So I spent more than 200 bucks 
bucks on it, but it is what it is. So to be fair, I don't actually know which sneaker is which, and obviously eBay repackaged all the boxes that they were originally in and packaged them in their own eBay branded boxes, which I appreciated. It's very similar to what StockX and GOAT does. You ship it to them first, they authenticate it, and then repackage it for you. However, the one kind of odd difference, which I guess they can't really get around, is that when you buy something from someone from eBay, they see your address, and StockX and GOAT doesn't actually do that. They just kind of tell you that the sneaker is sold, and they don't tell you who it's going to or where they bought it from. Whereas with eBay, because you're buying through eBay, you see the person's address, you see the person's name, and that's why I had to use my UPS box, because I didn't want someone to find out who was buying their sneakers from them. Which is funny, because I actually had someone comment in one of my videos, did you just buy this sneaker from me? And I was like, thank God I used a different address, because I wouldn't want that <laughs> getting out there. So I guess you could consider that sort of a downside of buying sneakers from eBay. I mean, it's just kind of how eBay works. There's not much you can do about it, and usually that's really the only way to go about buying and selling on eBay. So it makes sense, just something to keep in mind. But without further ado, let's crack into these boxes and see what we've got. So because I don't know exactly which shoe is in which box, I'm just gonna start from the top of the pile. I would kind of like to save the more expensive sneaker to last, but uh, we'll just um, see what happens. If it comes up first, it comes up first. It is what it is. Well, let's crack open this box. I'm interested to see what their packaging is like, if they include a receipt, how the sneakers look, like what condition they're in. I'm gonna try and not cut the top of the box when I do this. Meet your soulmates. That's a really nice touch. I love that packaging detail. I'm a sucker for packaging details. I love design. Ooh, authenticity guaranteed by eBay. That's really cool. I love that. Again, this isn't sponsored. eBay, if you want to sponsor me, that's cool, but <laughs> this video isn't sponsored. Oh, okay. So the first shoe out of the box is the Yeezy 700s. Comes with uh, some Uline packing bubble things. I don't know what these are called, packing pillows. Cushioning air is what they call them. Interesting. It says Yeezy 700 V3 UK 8.5. So I don't think I was buying this pair from the UK, but maybe they bought it from like SNS or something originally and then they decided to ship it to me um, from wherever they were from. I forget if it was like Florida or something. I don't remember where I bought this pair from, but yeah. So the box itself looks like your standard Yeezy 700 box. I mean, I'm not like a legit checking expert, but it looks fine. The tag looks a little bit different than I remember 700 boxes looking, but let's be honest, it's probably just because they changed the tag like every other release. So I don't really know how to legit check that, but I'm sure it is. Uh, let's pull up in the box. So the first thing you've got is this eBay card. It says, authentic without a doubt. Congratulations on adding another pair of sneakers to your collection. The enclosed pair has been meticulously inspected by a team of professional authenticators. To learn more about your sneakers' authenticity, hold your NFC-enabled device near the authenticity guarantee tag until you receive a prompt. Oh, that's so cool. So you can actually hold your phone near the authenticity tag, which is actually something that I think SneakerCon did. And so I think they're just repurposing SneakerCon's tags, which makes sense. And it'll tell you like what shoe it is and the fact that it's authentic. And it's also, I guess, put on the shoe in a way that you can't pull it off without destroying the tag. But here it is, the Yeezy 700 V3 Safflower. And here's that tag. We're actually gonna test it, see if it works. But this is a nice looking pair of shoes. I don't remember if I bought <laughs> A size nine or size nine and a half. I should have bought a size nine and a half, but I think I bought a size nine. Yeah, I bought a size nine. Damn. You've got the uh, the extra laces right here that come in black, um, and then you've got the other shoe right over here with the original tags on it. It's an interesting colorway of the 700 V3. It's not my favorite, but uh, hey, I'll rock with it. I'll go with it. I got it for a good price. I think I got it for pretty much retail, to be honest with you. Here, but let me actually test the tag and see how it works. So I'm gonna hold my phone's NFC near the tag until I'm prompted. Do I need to do something like open the eBay app or something like that? Okay, there's the prompt, got it. Authenticity guarantee, very cool. Yeezy 700 V3 Safflower authenticated on December 1st, condition new with box. You can actually list them to resell right from the app. You can sell them as soon as you get them in. Like say you get a crazy good deal, you can just flip them right there. That's pretty cool. I wonder if they have to get re-authenticated afterwards. I would assume so, right? Awesome, I'm actually really into this uh, whole eBay system. I really liked SneakerCon system. To be honest with you, I don't think I ever really bought any shoes from the SneakerCon app, but um, I really like the technology. I love SneakerCon, the, the event. So uh, it's cool to see them working with eBay. But let's actually go on and find out what the next sneaker is. Again, I'm hoping that this is the shoe that I spent less on, <laughs> but I think it, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Ooh, so again, You've got your nice eBay packaging on the inside of the box, and then you've got your box for the actual sneakers. This is the Air Jordan 1 Midnight Navies. And I don't know what these tags are. I think these are probably, these might be eBay, this might be an eBay tag. I'm not sure about this. Actually, that says 11, 14, 20, 20. So I'm assuming that's not an eBay tag because I bought these on the 23rd. But let's open up the box, see how they look. You've got another eBay authentication uh, cardboard piece right there, which I really like. It's pretty high quality, I'm impressed. And then you've got the sneakers themselves. 
The Air Jordan 1 Midnight Navies. Definitely dead stock. I mean, they look legit. Again, I'm not like a legit checking expert, but I have no qualms with this particular shoe. Nothing about it is setting off any red flags. And I got these for a pretty decent price. It was very similar to the price on StockX and GOAT, but I think it was like maybe like $8 cheaper. Obviously right now the amount of shoes that you can buy that can be legit checked on eBay is just nowhere near the sort of selection that you have on StockX or GOAT, which makes sense because they're just starting out and I think that over time it will very quickly expand. Um, and I also think that um, even if you can't legit check used sneakers, you can still get some pretty good used sneaker deals on eBay as well, which you can't do on StockX, but you can do on GOAT. Not totally in love with this shoe, but hey, I bought it for the video. I didn't buy it for myself. And then one other thing, I wanted to check the tag one last time. I'm not sure where the NFC uh, chip is in my phone. Authenticated on 11-27-2020. So this is one of the shoes that came in really early. The shipping from their actual authentication centers was like insanely fast, like a day or two days in FedEx. Um, shipping to the authentication centers was a little bit slower. Again, it makes sense because people are shipping their own boxes. Again, all around super, super fast, especially for a holiday weekend. So really, if there's a shoe that I'm trying to grab, and uh, I see it on eBay and StockX at the same time. I think I'm gonna go with eBay as of right now just because the shipping is so much faster. And for me, someone who reviews sneakers, price isn't as much a concern as getting the shoe like early or uh, as quickly as possible. So this is actually like pretty cool to see from eBay. I'm honestly really excited to see them expand and see uh, how their service kind of grows. But this is the third and final sneaker. This is the one that I bought for myself because I'm really into it, and I didn't get my size last time I got this pair of sneakers, so this is a pair that I'm really stoked on. And it's blowing up in value for some reason. I knew it was gonna be popular, but not as popular as it is. So this is kind of the surprise for you guys, because I didn't tell you guys that I was buying this shoe. You got your eBay packaging again, and then there you go. Top of the box, you could probably guess what it is. <laughs> it is an Air Jordan 1. I I'm assuming that's the eBay tag. It's gotta be, because all three of these boxes have the same tag on them. Um, it looks like they probably got this in store because there's no other tags on the front of the box. Let's see. Size 9, good. Everything looks good. Okay, let's pop the box. Another one of these eBay pieces of paper right there. Cardboard, whatever it is. And then the sneaker inside is... The Dark Mocha Air Jordan 1s. A shoe that I reviewed two months ago but a sneaker that I could not get in my size. And this is a shoe that just keeps blowing up in value, it's nuts. I think I bought these for 350 on eBay, which was way more than I wanted to spend and way more than I spent on the first time around that I got these, but the price just keeps going up and up and up and I think people are really, really into this shoe, almost even more so than the Travis's, which is kind of crazy to say, but I think because these are more available, people are more excited about them. I'm excited to have it in my collection, and of course, we're gonna check the little tag at the top. It's so much quicker when you actually tap where the NFC chip is, it's like instant. <laughs> the Air Jordan 1 Dark Mochas, authenticated on 1125. This was a shoe I bought last, but this is a shoe that came in first and got authenticated first, so shout out to eBay and the seller for that. One thing I do want to try very quickly, actually, is I want to cut the tag off one of these shoes and see what happens. So here's the eBay authentication tag right there. Let's just kind of cut it. And I wonder what would happen if I just cut it like this. Really hard to cut actually, there must be metal in there. Wow, that was surprisingly difficult to cut. There is metal in there. So I'm sure as soon as I cut that, it cut off whatever connection was there and it won't work anymore. But let's try it just to make sure. Let's tap it. Oh. Is it working? I'm actually kind of surprised by that. I thought it wasn't gonna work anymore. I've tried it like four times, it's still working. So it must be that you just can't like reattach it. That's what it is. Okay, so it's one of these like locking tags, so you can't actually pull it back off. And if you cut it, it's gonna be obvious that you cut it. It's pretty difficult to cut with the scissors too. So it doesn't have any kind of connection to the uh, the actual chip itself. It just is impossible to take off a shoe and then put back on. And it's actually really cool that the tag connects to your phone and tells you exactly what kind of shoe that you have. So it's a little bit extra layer of protection over like what Stadium Goods or StockX or Goat or any of those companies do. So that's really cool to see. But I guess with that, we wrap up the video for today. Now I would love to know your thoughts on eBay's authentication service and whether it's something that you're gonna try for yourself or whether it's something you don't really care about. So make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.